Alrighty, a while back did an unboxing of the Nolan 100-5 and a couple comments asking for um, kind of a ride review or what, what are the post ride thoughts after using it for a while. And um, I think in a nutshell, um, a couple things I want to highlight that are very uh, unique and I kind of like about this helmet and this will probably work for other people is a sun shield has a multi position has about five excuse me four points where you can um, and it goes up easily uh, where you can adjust uh, to covering covering your eyes and where I think this is helpful is just somebody if there's different face constructs I've noticed when when sun shields are brought down usually it's either um, fully down or, or, or up uh, it hits um, hit, hits your nose on some of them so this one if um, uh, whatever reason you can adjust it to your face this is the first time I've seen that um, that I really like um, something that really sticks out with this helmet uh, while using it is um, the lightness of it it is a very light helmet and um, and it shows every time I put an older one on that I have and uh, another thing with this one is um, uh, the top vent uh, for riding on a cruiser bike airs pretty well. Um, you could feel it around the top of your head. As far as comparing to like volume wise, the C3 Pro, I, I think this one is completely almost uh, tit for tat comparable uh, to the C3 Pro, except this one is cheaper and I found uh, the padding in it to actually settle better, at least for me. Uh, some challenges you could run into with this helmet, of course, is um, depending on the type of bike you have, is just whether the airflow in through the vents works for you. Also, also uh, with any helmet, uh, whether the padding, the shape of it works for your head type, that's why you probably need to try this on or at least purchase it from a place you can return return it. Because um, I know if there's uh, various points, uh, especially it's common on the cheeks, if there's pinch spots or if it's tight up here, it, it's, it's not going to work for you. A long distance ride, it's going to give you a headache. Uh, other thing that I thought was a challenge is... In here, it's supposed to be, I understood, eyeglass uh, compatible, and, and it mostly, I want to say it mostly is, but I know it's on a long ride, uh, if you have uh, thick arms on your lenses, uh, you're probably still going to get some soreness around the ears. So those are probably the only things that I spotted um, that were a challenge. Um, this may or may, may not be an issue for some people, but down here, uh, you're probably going to have to open this up and strategically cut to get a Cena in. That's probably the most, the one negative aspect with this helmet. It's not Cena friendly, especially anything that has a visor lever down here. Because even if you get the Cena in, it's kind of hard to get get to this, if not impossible, and work this with a thick glove. Uh, it's really meant for their own NCOM. They do now have a Cena adhesive padding and stick around here, but this is all uneven, so I, I'm not sure if I would trust. Um, an, an adhesive mount so not not really seen a friendly can be done if you're creative with cutting I would um, I, I think I was probably fair to say this is a highly recommended helmet for me but but definitely want to try before you buy uh, as far as how quiet quiet is kind of an oxymoron with a modular modular helmet um, having to work this with one hand while I hold the phone one thing with the one thing with the mechanism is when you're riding this in the up, you do have a locking mechanism. So if wind gets really strong, it's not forced down. When you're bringing this down while you're riding, this is one of the smoothest mechanisms of all modular helmets I've experienced to this point, even older Nolans, because I, I brought mine down on uh, older Nolan and other helmets, and then you find out. You know, while you're riding, wind kicks up and whoop, pops up a little bit. And it's because it didn't latch. This thing is so smooth, it never fails to latch. So, um, in the market for a new helmet, uh, Nolan 100 5, check it out.